I'm going to start off with uh, my family and everybody is fine. House is fine. <clears throat> Several of you have reached out to me um, asking if we were affected by yesterday's events. Today is Sunday. <clears throat> Yesterday, Saturday the 9th, um, tornado struck miles from here, just a few miles from here. And in Bowling Green, Clarksville area. Um, let me run down the whole day yesterday. Um, so yesterday, actually, me and Bill took off and went to southern central Kentucky, um, Mammoth Cave, uh, up in that area, Nolan Lake, and um, well, it's going to be a whole different video, but uh, um, we, <laughs> you know, we left out and everything. It was I, I, it was funny because I put on a flannel shirt, short sleeve shirt, and long pants went outside and I said oh it's warm I picked Bill up by 6.30 and uh, we took off going to Kentucky and I told him yesterday morning I, and I mean he'll elaborate with this I said it's too warm for December here guys I said it's just too warm and uh, he said yeah but it, you know it, it may go you know it may change. It may do whatever. So yeah, they're you know they they're pretty dead set on we're gonna get some weather. And I said if we do, it's not gonna be good. I said it's not gonna be good. It's just too dead blame warm. And um, so I told him I said you know I you know all the predictions were five and later in the evening and I said you know I'm gonna keep an eye on the radar um, I don't want to be in between or stuck driving through it which there's there's several <laughs> things that played into our timing that had we done one thing and not done the other we would have been driving right into it Um, you know, doing this outdoor stuff, you know, you take chances like this and sometimes it, it could backfire on you. I've been lucky, been ser lucky several times, yesterday being one of them. Uh, there was a time me and Chase went to Ohio and um, we literally broke down camp late in the afternoon because weather like this was coming and hightailed it out of there. And we're lucky again because weather hit and it affected everywhere we were but we were south of it still ended up driving into some of it <clears throat> the next day because I had to stop I was tired and spend the night and um, got next morning we ended up driving into some of it and got through it but still so yesterday, um, same thing kind of happened. Um, so we had done pretty much everything we were going to do, you know, looking at. I did find a place that we're going to go back to and go camping at some point. But uh, the first thing we got, and I'll post, pop it up on the screen right now, was uh, Bowling Green, Kentucky, tornado warning. For Bowling Green, Kentucky, until Saturday, December 9th at 3:15, we were going through Bowling Green at the time. We were literally just hit the outskirts of the city on the interstate. And I even told Bill, I said, "Dude, uh, it's hammered down from here on till we get beyond the storm." I had my phone sitting up in the dash, GPS going, had the tablet going showing the radar and we were just skirting the outskirt of the storm all together and um, you know we got a few raindrops and you could see back off 
to the west it was pretty nasty looking you know we could have done the dumbass thing and i will say dumbass thing we didn't do is hang around to see what was going to happen instead i chose to well as i said i tell it and get out of there and i did so got him to his house and it's still back to the west of us it was nasty looking and um and i dropped him off <clears throat> we said our you know see you laters and have a good holiday if we don't see each other and um chit chat for a little bit and it's sprinkling and stuff and we've been in rain off and on all day sprinkles and mist and you know that that kind of rain you go either rain or don't you know and um so anyway i left his house and uh went on down the road and then the next thing i got was a text message from him but about the time i was really truly about to pull in the driveway and um there may be some language used in this i'm sorry um so I got, I got a text message from him it says tornado sirens going off it's a dam so i'm pulling into the driveway okay so by this time i the, my wife and cj had gotten here chase was at a buddy of his house with his girlfriend or fiance whatever they are i don't know and uh just down the road so they weren't far and then um i said pulling into the driveway and uh he said, dude, this is headed towards the radar thingy. Well, if you know, I've shown the video on video before. The radar thingy is literally that way from where I'm sitting right now. It's like a couple miles. If crow flies, it's probably less. And um, headed towards that radar thingy in Mount Juliet area, which is me. It's going to pass a little south of us by two or three miles. This is Bill talking from his house. I said, I think it's going to go just a little bit north of the radar, which it ended up doing. It ended up following a track in Hendersonville. He said, the, the clouds are moving north here. I said, it's going, to ju it's going to be just north of us, dude. I said, and he said, there it is. He sent me a, he said, sent me a text message and said, there it is. And I'll pop up the picture right now of from his front yard watching this big wedge. I said, did you take that? He said, yes, sir. I said, that's a big tornado. Yeah, we're in the basement. I said, good. Y'all okay? He said, yeah, a little hell of wind. I said, I said, it sounds like it went down Main Street, Hendersonville, which literally is across the lake from where i'm sitting across the lake main street hendersonville it's funny because we pull up doordash or something and sometimes they'll give us stuff that's <laughs> says five miles away well that's as a crow's fly not as you can drive because that five miles actually would take me 20 minutes just to get there if i was driving but um he said yeah it looks north of you I guess what I was videoing went away. And I said, no, it went down Main Street there in Gallatin or Henderson Mill into the Gallatin. And then we lost power for some reason, but we found out that a TVA substation got hit. And uh, there are several flashes, explosions, and crap seen on TV all afternoon you know all evening watching it i just couldn't believe the the stuff but anyway so after a little bit it you know it was past us we were safe we were safe and i said dude we're good i said we're golden I said, we're out of it i said i don't even think it hardly rained here and it didn't it did not rain or anything here for a good 30 minutes or so then another line that was at the tail end of that come through and we had some lightning and stuff but we we were out without power for probably a good hour good hour or so and um you know then this morning well last night too you know we were seeing the 
seeing the aftermath um you know photos of the aftermath the deadly tornado outbreak in middle tennessee i'll post some of these up tornado moving through davidson county caught on camera and it was on we have these interstate cameras all over the place and you could they actually watched it with the interstate cameras um and then i get i uh, see the headline of six dead in middle tennessee one of them including a two-year-old child so it hits kind of home uh here it is christmas and lost six tennesseans to weather um i knew yesterday when we got up or got out and even up in kentucky i said it's too warm too humid it's not going to be good if it does storm i said we're going to get some bad weather out of this but uh we did and it happened and i knew it was going to happen um anytime it's like that around here in december it's not a good thing um but anyway today it's in the 40s i feel for those guys that are having to clean up in the 40s right now um thank god we're not we were spared again um I just keep thinking, you know, how many times am I going to be spared? I mean, this is, what, four in the last five years or so that have gone north or south of me. I, I don't know what I'm doing right, but let's keep it up. But anyways, guys, that's it. Um, I do have, I'm putting together a video from Kentucky, um, but I had a problem. And I'm telling you here at the end of this. I uh, did have a problem with the video. Uh, the camera I used to do most of the video with, uh, either the SD card is corrupt and will not work, or the camera itself took a crap and the processor is not working. The videos were there and then they weren't. Um, I do have a couple videos. I didn't use my Canon SL3 on this trip. I was going to and I didn't. I'm stupid. I should have used it because I know it would have been there. I used the Sony NX5R, the J Japanese version, and it crapped on me. But I was able to shoot a couple of videos with the Canon 5D Mark II. So there will be a, there's going to be a video from Kentucky next week, um, but not today. I just didn't didn't feel like putting it together yet. I will put it together there in the week, this week, and uh, it, it it's going to be mainly pictures and stuff like that. So, saw some pretty cool things. Um, but uh, just just keep in your mind, back of your mind, prayers, whatever you do, uh, about the people that have lost their lives here in Middle Tennessee uh, on Saturday, and um, know we're safe and sound, and well. Appreciate you asking. Be prepared. We'll see you on the next one.